Hey everybody, this is Mark with Apple Tech on Twit, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite apps for the Mac. I've been using Macs for a little over five years now. I haven't been using it for a long time. I'm a latecomer, but um, I found some really great apps that I absolutely love, and I wanted to share them with you today in this video. So first, let's go ahead and start off with, I guess on the left, and that is Airmail. This is by far my favorite way to get email. I can manage all of my accounts in one single app. Syncing and push notifications are really amazing, especially for IMAP email addresses. It looks great. It works on iOS, which I don't use. I use Outlook on iOS and Google Inbox, but it's a great app, way better than Apple's default mail app and better than anything I've ever tried before. Plus, if you don't want to pay for the full version, you can download their beta, which is absolutely free. So it's a really great app. Links to this and everything I talk about will be down in the description below. Next up is something you've heard me talk about over and over again. We've done a review on it. We've made another video about how it's one of the best things we've ever reviewed. And now again, this is things. It's by far my favorite way to manage my to-do list. I absolutely love it. I use it all the time. Everything I want to do, I need to remember, need to do. I put it in this app. It's super great. I can create projects like I have right here with videos. So if you take a look at this, those are all the videos we have coming up, including that one. Cool. Just check that off. Next is an app that just got updated recently. This is Final Cut Pro 10.3. It looks great. Some of the changes it brings are really awesome as well. It has a lot of nice changes that will actually be beneficial to me. The design looks flat and nice, but nothing has changed. Nothing's really moved and I love it so far. Um, there's a couple bugs and everything, but I hope it'll get fixed in future versions. But overall, it's a really great app. Next, let's move on to a couple of our own apps. Um, we have List Spot. This is our own app again, but it's a really great one. I like how you can make to do's and tasks easily. Um, you can create lists. You have your item on one side and your description on the other. So if I want to have like a date and then let's say I'm tracking analytics for our app downloads. Well, I can say that I got five downloads and then we can easily do that and we can add more entries. And another one of our apps is JotSpot. It's now on iOS. You can check that out at the link down below, but it allows you just to write down notes. There's no saving to the cloud with notes app. Like I delete on one device, it doesn't delete on the other. It's a big issue for me, but this app is really simple. It's easy to use. You just write what you want and you quit the app when you're done. And I use for testing keyboards on iOS, um, writing down like stuff I need to remember really quickly. And if you're in other apps, you can also use this menu up here and reference something from an, while you're in somewhere else. So let's say my password is password. Well, it's spelled wrong because you won't know the password. Let's say I go into things. Well, what's my password? Well, it's right there in the menu bar. I really like that. For writing articles, I reference Mac Tracker a lot. This is um, how I get information on Apple's devices. You can see there's tons of different devices on here, pretty much every Apple device ever. And I can go ahead and get information, so like the Magic Keyboard. I can see when it was introduced, when it was discontinued, the price, specifications on it, history about it, all that sort of stuff. It's really great referencing for previous Apple devices. You get all the specs and everything in one place. It's really nice and it's free as well. As you guys may know, WordPress is our website management tool and that is what we have right here. I have the WordPress app. And it's just a really well-designed interface. It's super easy to use and it makes managing the content on our website much easier. We also have the version for iOS installed. It's again, it's really awesome. And it just makes managing the website super easy. And then finally, we have done a review on this before and this is Audio Hijack. It's a really great way to steal audio from different apps. So if you're listening to a song in iTunes and you wanna save that, you can use Audio Hijack. I use it a lot in Chrome to get audio from certain websites. It works perfectly. You can add different inputs. So you can like record two microphones at once, which you could never do before. So it's more than just stealing audio from apps, but it works really great. And it's easy to use, 
and I'll have the review linked right up here if you want to watch it. And that is pretty much all of our apps. If you guys have any questions about them, leave them in the comment section below. Links to everything will be in the description. If you want to check them out, download them, buy them. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. This is Mark with Apple Tech One Tweet, and I'll see you in the next one.